Howdy folks, we're here doing the Wine Monk Club right here in downtown Arkansas. Hey! What is, what is oh, this guy saying? Hello everybody! Hello! Ninjas. He's act actually, that sounds like your dad. <laughs> All right, hey, welcome to the limited series. You know, he's, this is the limited series. Ed. Yes, I know, it's very it's limited. It's a little more sophisticated. Though. Yeah, <laughs> For October, well, you were my sidekick, that's for sure. Hey, hey! <laughs> there we go. 2015. Well, I'm not uh, talking louder than him now. That's now, we've for discussed sure. in the last two sh podcasts that the wine for October 75, we didn't have a limited series then, so we only had the classic series at 339 a fifth. A fifth. <laughs> now, what is a fifth? A fifth is a fifth of a gallon. Is a fifth of a gallon? It's a fifth of a gallon. Okay, you know what I thought it was? One, one, fifth, one fifth less than a quart. Well, it it could be. <laughs> it could you know, be I, I, have to, I have to think about that. You know, twenty percent less than a quart. A quart's thirty-two. That would uh, drop. Now, yeah, that's about. That is probably Which is, correct. What, Twenty-five ounces. Twenty-four and a half, or something like that. Yeah, somewhere in there. Fifth of a gallon that clears it up, which is, uh, you know, about 750 milliliters, which is the standard wine thing. You're right, exactly. Then why is it that some states want to ch ch charge the tax by the gallon? Um, no, there's nothing sold in a gallon. No, uh, just bulk wine, yeah. You know, when I buy wines to, to bottle, it's, it's sold by the gallon. Oh, you know, two point, well, 2.3. Well, some states do it in liters. They do it in liters. Yeah. This is a half, this is a three quarters of a liter. That's making freaking sense. Uh, well, it's actually a, a case is nine liters. So that makes it a lot easier than a case being 2.37642 gallons or whatever, whatever it mm -hmm. comes to. Mm. All right, this is the uh, Burnside Road, 1970. Mm. The, I'm sorry, 1970, 2013. I just, you know what I found about this? I found it atypical of Monterey, though it's got the leanness at the end of a Monterey Pinot, but it's got a ton of fruit in the it's middle. It's a gorgeous right? bottle of wine. I think it's absolutely perfect. I mean, I, you know, I mean, this is this is really as good a Pinot Noir as I think we've 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 featured. This is absolutely spectacular. Twenty worth every bit of twenty five ninety nine on the shelf, and fifteen ninety nine probably puts it at the best Pinot Noir value ever. It's really. Just got it. And you, and after you finish it, you're still tasting some something, right? You're getting some spice. It's just, you're getting it's some just one of those nicely balanced wines from beginning to end, from the time you smell it until you swallow it. It's just all right there. You're not getting no dried spice. strawberries in this. this yeah, really cool. yep. dried cherry, actually, I think. Um, I'm doing a 98 on this. Yeah, I think, I think it's absolutely I think just, out of this you world. You sold me on that idea. Uh, I wasn't trying to. I'll buy some. <laughs> oh, all right, sorry. I got 200 cases here. All right. This is. This is Spectacular. Do I have to dump this out of the nose? I, I, believe me, I, I'm thinking about the it, nose too. nose is great. Just caught that nose really loaded. This is meant to, if, Coming from Monterey, I was, I was shocked at that. Maybe I'm not at all. I mean, Monterey is producing some of the best Pinot Noirs in the state. It's just a matter of time before people get on the bandwagon. It's, it's like fine. Lodi and everything else. You know, it's very funny. I, I donated some wine to a very large event at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. Okay, so this is big stuff. It's The minimum plate's 1000 bucks. Okay, Ooh, and Placido Domingo is going to play there at this event. Okay, so I donated some wine. He's so I sent them sing. all these samples, and I sent them all classic series wines. Okay, mm -hmm. and they're like, you don't understand. These have to be high end wines. You know, these people are paying a thousand dollars. I said, don't worry, you'll like these wines. And they're like, freaked. You know what they freaked over? The Cooper Station Zinfandel. Oh, well, that's a terrific bottle yeah, of wine. Yeah, right? that is so really a good bottle. They, of wine. they felt that wine. And here we are. We sell for what six ninety nine or seven ninety nine, and they are worthy of this thousand dollar plate thing. And that's what we're about. You know, that's the stuff we find. That cracked me up. Oh, Paul, we had that. We had that very nice wine too. Uh, Los Heroldos uh, Malbec from Argentina. You know, it remind, it, it, it's named after my friend Harold, who I went to high school with. Oh, he's a great guy. And um, and uh, it's uh, spectacular Malbec. From the foot of the Andes Mountains. Well, most of them are. Like the ankle or the toes? Or I, the... I, you know, I think it's probably probably more like a calf. Anyway, uh, $24.95 on the shelf, $14.99. And this has mm. got some incredible Malbec cranberry fruit to it. You know, it's the just depth is off the all charts. over the place. That is just sitting on my tongue still, just weighing in. Mm. In the layers. A little bit of oak in this, too, I think. Well, yeah. Oak, yeah. But you it know. says oak on the label. Well, that is usually a good tip off. Yeah. You know. Um, but it's, the nose is so complex. You get the oak, you get the dried, you get the dried Absolutely fruit. Absolutely fabulous. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm doing a 97 on that, too. I think that's really, really good. Mmm. 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 Oh, gosh, 
Yeah. Maybe we should stop the camera while he goes through his mmm phase. Okay, next, but last but not least, Kosa Obra. Okay, now, th that was a wonderful prose that you wrote for us the first I time know, around. I know, it was amazing. You know, Kosa, we think, means thing. And well, don't, not think, that does, I mean. And Bora means we're bored to death of your writing. Obra. Oh, Obra, I'm sorry. Obra, as a, not to be confused with Obra Winfrey. Thought of that. <laughs> Gee, I wish I thought of that, Ed. I wish I hadn't. Um, <laughs> what more can I say? When you're right, you're right. You know, I don't know why he's here. We could just use his toys How instead. How do you do it, Ed? <laughs> you know, I amaze you're myself so most of the time. All right, this is, uh, so, you know, this looked uh, imported the way they fashioned that label. Except to, until you got to the point that said Sonoma, Sonoma County. County. You know, then it kind of gives it away right away. You know how that goes? Oh, wow, wow, this nose. You know this is not Sonoma County nose, though. Well, how would you know? That's, I mean, it's, look it's at that. Sauvignon it's Blanc. Grapefruit, and it's got that greenness in it. Yeah. Mm. But it has some pretty, it has some nice ripeness going on, too. Mm -hmm. So what was the problem with the data you found? Because this? this is so good, it's ridiculous. It's a really, really pretty wine. And what really? was the problem with the data on it? Well, they wouldn't tell me who owned it. <laughs> no. They wouldn't tell me who made it. They wouldn't tell me anything about the people involved. So, oh, so, what is, so what about the grapes? Well, I, I, I can talk about Sauvignon Blanc grapes until, you know, hell freezes over. But the fact is, we want to know who these people are, you know, uh, where they came from, what, what, you know, what guided them into getting into something as stupid as the wine business. That's always a fascinating topic for me. I uh, haven't been in it for too long myself. So, um, you know, it's interesting about that wine. You get that green, you get that. Uh, you do, but you get but enough just, ripeness. Yeah, there's some really. Th there's some fruit in the nice middle. core of fruit in there that says, hey, I'm not really stupid. Uh, $22.99 on the shelf, $13.99 uh, on a reorder price. Sonoma County sold me on Blanca for $13.99. That's a, that's that's a steal. Deal. That's yeah, a really level. good deal. I'm doing a 95 on that. I'll do 94 and a half. Six. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! I got you on that one. Yeah, that was that was really that's the way to go, amazing. Baby. Way to go, man! I mean, I'm just so uh, now. Here's a this is a this is a natural cork from a green tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I gave a speech to Rotary the other day. I gave two actually. It comes in like waves every five years. They go, hey, we need somebody to fill in. And I don't even prepare the speeches anymore. I just stand up there and I show them the video of my mom and dad at the anniversary we did. And, all that. and then they, I send these things around. Because I had that one piece of natural cork that, that's actually plugged from a piece of bark. Oh, yeah. And I send these around. And they're like, oh, what do you think of the screw caps? The screw caps? Probably. And then I sent them the canned wines. Oh. Have you seen those? A little 187s yeah, in a can? Yeah. I think that's good. Um, I got, this, is, this is Verdeo. From Sayato in in España, um, and I I love this grape, absolutely love it. It just reminds me a lot of Grenache Blanc, which is another favorite grape of mine. I just love the flavors. Yeah, there's a ton of flavor in this one, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. and the nose, you know what's just what I liked about this wine? The nose is expressive of the grape. You don't always get that with Verdejo. But you get this lovely kind of white peach, nectarine, almost apricotty. And you almost think it's going to be sweet. That sounds it? really good, Ed. <laughs> you, yeah, you hold it next to you, you can hear the, the waves. Um, and then you, uh, and then you get this acidity. You think it's going to be almost sweet, and then kaboom! You know, you get this really nice, nice mouth-watering, dry finish. That you could have this with anything, from oysters to smoked salmon to, you know, Chilean sea bass. That's a ninety-five. Ninety-six. Twenty-two ninety-nine. I'll take shelf. that back. Fourteen ninety nine a reorder price, and I'm I'm gonna get some of that because I think it's absolutely incredible. That's the show for today, folks. Limited series October. Uh, we got two more months, and then Christmas, man. Catalogs out. I've heard of it. Catalogs yes. beautiful, gorgeous. Zia. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. 